Hi, I'm Duncan from Passionate About Fish and in this video we're going to show you how to fillet a wild Cornish turbot. You can tell the characteristics of a turbot from any other flatfish due to its diamond shape and the black skin has nodules on top of the surface and there's an example just there. To fillet the turbot, because I'm right handed, I'm going to start on the white side. Because the fish is so broad, I'm actually going to make two cuts down the right hand side. The first cut will be made at about that depth of the fillet and then the second cut will be followed along the lateral line. The first cut that you need to do is to actually go round the head. Remembering that a turbot is a prime fish so we need to get as tight to the head to get as good a yield as possible. I'm then going to insert the knife right at the side of the head onto the bone and only cut forward about an inch and a half just to lift the beginning of the fillet. Then I'm going to put the tip of the knife on the bone, pull the head of the turbot to the left and push my knife forward down the bone in one movement. And there's half of the fillet already relieved. I've now turned the knife over so it's cut into the left. I insert it back onto the spine and with slight forward and downward pressure I very gently pull the knife back up towards the head and the fillet will lift. We now need to go over the traditional ridge of the turbot in the centre of the fillet. There's the ridge, drop the knife over the top and then lift the fillet and the knife very high and work the knife up the far side of the ridge all the way up to the front of the head. You can see the fillet's lifted. I then turn my knife to the right and I'm going to move it from the head to the tail down the bone. Don't try and do this in one cut. You'll get a better yield making time and doing a couple of single cuts. And there's the first fillet off the bone. We're now going to show you how to remove the black fillet. I'm going to release the fillet from the head end again on the far side of the fish, just as with the white side we need to make sure we get a good tight yield right round the side of the head. I'm going to lift the fillet up with my finger, I'm going to slide my knife underneath the beginning of the fillet and then on top of the spine and this time I'm going to push my knife in along the right hand side of the lateral line and just pull the knife out the side of the fish and I've lifted half of the right hand side of the fillet. I then put my knife back in along the bone and just lift the knife out and we've filleted half the fish again. Turn the blade over, cut into the left hand side, follow the centre of the fish to make sure you're against the ridge along the centre of the fish. Drop the tip of the blade over that ridge, that's a tricky cut that you need to master and then with the handle lifted very high you should hear that popping noise we release the fillet away from the ridge and then very carefully just release the fillet away from around the head. I then turn the handle so the handles to the right and then with one or two cuts I just release the fillet off the bone very carefully making sure I get a good yield all the way down the length of the fish. We then just need to tidy the fillets up to make them absolutely gorgeous. With the black fillet first I've actually caught one of the bones from the spine. The rib cage has been left on. I'm just going to use the table to bend my knife and then work my knife around the front of the fillet just shaving off that black skin and then I'll just round the front of the fillet up to give it a perfect shape. Trim the tail to make it nice and straight and there's the first fillet ready to go. I'm going to do the same with the white fillet. Again using the table to bend the knife very aggressively and then we shave underneath that rib cage, trying to lift off just the bones and the silver skin and no flesh and then just round the front of the fillet up. Remembering that all fish have got pin bones, if you want to make it boneless the pin bones run along the lateral line here, we have to make a cut either side of the lateral line and then this fillet will be 100% bone free just like so. And there's two fillets of turbot ready to go. With the black side, due to the nodules on the skin, we actually can skin the black side and this is a traditional method with a turbot. Black side skin, white side with the skin on. I'm going to use my filleting knife, I'll go down onto the skin and then very carefully I'll just draw my filleting knife down the length of the fillet 
using my left hand to pull very aggressively on the fillet and there's the fillet skimmed. If you do leave a little nodule on because the nodules do catch under your knife we'll just go underneath the nodule and shave that off the top of the fillet and there's two turbot fillets ready to go.